Welcome to today's flow that is going to help you to just reset and get back on your mat. If you've had a bit of a break like I have, if you're feeling really tense, you know you need to get back into your practice, but you're feeling reluctant, this is going to be your short, sweet little flow. And I'm going to be so kind to you that we're actually going to start by lying down. So really nice and simple. We're going to come down onto the mat, lying on our backs. Legs are straight out on the mat and just releasing everything here. Starting off nice and comfy. And then slowly bring the right knee towards your chest. Give it a little squeeze with the hands. If it's feeling tight, don't force anything. If you need to maybe take it slightly out to the side, if that feels better, that's fine too. And we're just hugging that knee in gently to the chest, feeling a nice stretch in the hips. This is gonna help you to stimulate the digestion as well. And if you want to activate the core at the same time, let's bring the forehead up to meet towards the knee. So engaging that core at the same time, elbows are nice and wide, breathing in, and out and then slowly release the head back let's take that knee over across the body into a twist so the knee moves down towards the ground we're looking the opposite way and bring that arm back down onto the mat either straight out or if you want them bent like cactus arms so bending at the elbows that's okay too if it feels too tight just draw the knee slightly lower. So wherever you can feel the stretch in your spine, breathing in. As you exhale, feel yourself releasing into the posture. Feel each part of your spine just relaxing into the twist as it starts to feel more comfortable. as it starts to release any tension. Now slowly bring that knee back to center. And now we're gonna practice a half butterfly. So staying on our backs, we're gonna draw that knee out to the side. So the sole of the foot is on the inside of that leg. So imagine like you're practicing tree pose, but lying down. So the foot is on the inside of the opposite leg, the knee is nice and out. Now if this is too tight, if your hips are feeling too tight, we're just gonna bring that foot slightly lower, maybe onto the calf, and see if that feels better for you. If that's too much, you're just gonna keep lowering until it feels okay. So you're almost making a half diamond shape with that leg. So this is just opening up that hip. And again, it's gonna feel a little bit tight at the beginning, and then as you continue to breathe, your body is going to start to feel more comfortable. It's going to start to settle here. And just breathing in and out. Holding it here for one more breath. and then slowly lifting the knee up. We're gonna draw the opposite knee up as well. I'm gonna cross that right knee over the left, lift your feet off the mat, so as if you're bringing the crossed knees to your chest, and see if you can place your hands onto the ankles. If that's too much, just place them on the knees. And wherever the hands are, you're gonna draw them closer to you. So pull those ankles towards you, or pull the knees towards you, that's gonna bring a really nice deep stretch into the hip, into the glute, and into that lower back. So this is gonna feel nice. It should just feel like a release. And take three deep breaths for me here. Focusing on that breath.
one last time, one last breath. Keep pulling those ankles or pulling those knees just gently towards you. And when you've finished your last breath, simply uncross the legs and place the right leg, extend it down onto the mat, bring that left knee into the chest and again, giving yourself a nice squeeze, nice gentle hug with that left knee towards the chest. And if you want to activate the core, remember you can lift up the forehead to meet the knee, keeping the elbows nice and wide, shoulders are relaxed. Keep breathing here. With the leg that's on the mat, keep the foot flexed so the toes are pointed up. And then slowly drop the head down. Let's take the knee over across the body into our twist. Remember, you can draw that knee down as much as you need to, to feel more comfortable. Arms out nice and wide, or we're bending at the elbow into our cactus arms. I always find this kind of cactus arms way brings a really nice stretch just under my arm into those kind of side of the chest muscles. That always feels really nice to me. If that's too much, obviously just keep the arms straight or anywhere that feels comfortable for you. This main stretch is coming into the spine with that twisting of the knee. Inhaling here. And exhaling out. One more time. As your body eases into the stretch, the muscles start to relax. And then slowly uncross. Bring that knee back. We're going to move into our half butterfly. So drawing the knee out to the side. Sole of the foot is on the inside of the opposite leg. Remember, if this feels too tight, you can draw the foot lower, wherever it feels comfortable. And it might be that one side. So like me, this side feels really tight. So I'm just gonna draw my foot a little bit lower, maybe onto a calf. And that just feels so much better. So once you feel like it, you can stay here for a few breaths, you can just simply breathe Focus the area where you can feel the stretch. You're going to breathe into that space. As you exhale, feel yourself into this space, reducing any tightness. Holding it here for one more breath. And when you're ready, slowly bring that knee up and let's cross it over the opposite leg. So both knees are crossed, left knee is on top. And again, drawing the feet up, you're gonna grab hold of the ankles or the knees, whatever feels good, and just gently pulling towards your body. This time you're gonna feel that stretch in the opposite side of the glute and into the hips. And you're gonna hold it here for three deep breaths. So through the nose, breathing in, and out and again breathing in slowly release the breath keeping that pull on the ankles going for one last breath and then slowly release. Bring both legs down on the mat, flexing the feet so toes are pointed up. I'm gonna bring the arms in front of you up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna bring ourselves up into a seated position, but we're gonna use the core just to lift ourselves up. So lift from the core as you roll yourself up into seated and bring yourself down onto the mat on all fours. So hands and knees. Hands are underneath the shoulders, 
knees underneath the hips, fingers are nice and wide. And we're simply going to bring the hips up into our version. Take the gaze high and allow the abdomen to drop into our cow pose. Breathing in here and out, holding the pose, taking the shoulders back. One more breath. And then slowly rounding the back. So tuck those hips in, round the back, bring the chin to chest. And then breathing here, feeling this flex in the spine. One more breath. And then slowly bring it down into child's pose. So bring the knees nice and wide, extend those arms in front of you, forehead comes down. Holding it here in child's pose for three deep breaths. If this is feeling really tight for you, remember you can use your hands underneath your forehead or even grab a cushion or a block, anything you have to hand underneath the forehead if that feels better. Keeping the knees nice and wide and focusing on the breath. When you're ready, slowly coming up, bring yourself into a seated position. We're going to bring our feet in front of us nice and wide. So make sure you've got enough space. The feet come nice and wide, legs are bent. I'm just going to move into the hips a little bit further. So placing the hands next to you on the fingertips, we're going to simply take the knees side to side. Now this is one of the ones where you're going to need to modify. If you need to bring your feet slightly closer together, that's fine. If you can't quite get your knees to touch the ground, that's absolutely fine as well. So just keep practicing however it feels good. You can also use your cushion to sit underneath the hips if that helps you as well. This is just going to release any tightness. So I don't know about you, but when I haven't been on my mat for a while, if I'm coming back to it, it's always the hips where I feel it. From all the sitting, from all the driving, that's where all my tightness ends up. So this feels really good. Just keep moving side to side in your own time, at your own pace. Try and keep that length in the spine. So I've just realized that I was dropping down. It's so easy to do with this one. But just keep that length in the spine. You can use this as an opportunity to just stretch out the chest. So take the shoulders back as you're moving, bringing that stretch into the chest as well. Now next time the knees are over to one side, I want you to keep it there. And I want you to take whichever side your knees are facing, I want you to take the opposite hand, bring it round, so you're twisting round, keeping that length in the spine, Draw the shoulders down if they've hunched up. Hold it here for a breath. And then slowly release back to centre. Take the knees over to the opposite side. And again, the opposite hand comes round, twisting to the other side. Breathing in. And breathing out. Slowly back to centre. Let's bring the feet in into an easy pose. So this is where we cross the legs, but they're not one on top of the other. They're just one in front of the other. I'm going to practice a few short side bends. So one hand comes down, opposite arm comes over, and then switch to the opposite side. So try and keep both hips down on the mat as we move into our side bends. If you feel like your hips coming off the mat, just try and push it down. Maybe you don't need to come down as further. Maybe 
You need to just stay a little bit higher so your hips can stay grounded. One more on each side. Hopefully you're feeling as good as I am already. So some short, simple movements to bring some mobility into the body. And then release back to centre. I'm going to stay here for one final moment. Let's bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest, keeping that spine nice and tall, closing the eyes, focusing on the breath, allowing it to settle. Let's end with three deep belly breaths. So as you inhale through the nose, bring that breath into the belly, filling it up, moving into the chest. And as you exhale through the nose, moving the same way, releasing through the chest, releasing everything in the belly. And again, inhaling into the belly, filling all the way to the top, exhaling out through the nose, and one more time, deep breath into the belly. And exhaling out. Bringing the hands down, keeping the eyes closed. In this moment of stillness. Allow yourself to feel gratitude for your body, for everything it does each day. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and I hope to see you soon.